tips. Max! Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to solve counting of figures square and rectangle in an easy and tricky way. Moreover, let's discuss about the difference between square and rectangle. Using that property, let's see what is the difference between counting of squares and counting of rectangle. First, let us see counting of squares problem. If we want to count the number of square in this image, normally we used to count right. So, let us first solve by counting the number of squares. So, if we start counting, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 and another one 5. So, the total number of square in this image is 5. Since it is a very small image, we shall easily solve by counting it. But if we know the trick to solve this type of problems, it will be really helpful if we got a very big image. The trick is that first count the number of rows and column in this image. So in this image we are having 2 rows and 2 columns, right? So if the rows and columns are equal, follow the trick what I am going to say. So you have written the number of rows in this series, just square those number and then add it. So if we square 1 and 2, we will get 1 and 4. If we add 1 and 4, we will get 5. So, the total number of squares are 5. So, we have to write the number in the series. Then, we have to square those numbers. Then, add it. We will get total number of squares. That's it. Next, we shall see an image. So, first, what we have to do is, we have to count the number of rows. So, we have to write the number in the series. Then, we have to count the number of columns. So, in this image, we are having row and column are 3. That is, they are equal. So, we have to square 1 then 2, then 3, then we have to add those number, we will get 1 plus 4 plus 9, that is 14. So, the total number of squares are 14 in this image, ok. Let us finally see another one problem also in this category. So, first what we have to do is, we have to count the number of rows and column. We have to write the number in the series first. So, if we write, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then we have to write the column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here we are having R equal to 5, C equal to 5, that is they are equal. So, next step we have to square the number in the series. So, if we square, we will get 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square and 5 square. Next, we have to apply the value for it. So, the value for 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25. So, if we add, the total we will get 55. So, the total number of squares in this image of 55. So far, we have seen the images with equal number of rows and column. Now, let us see for the images with different number of rows and column. So, here is an image. Here, the rows and column are different. First, what we are going to do is, you have to write the number of rows in the order. So, if we write, we are having 1, 2, 3 and 4 rows. And for column, 1, 2, 3. That is, we are having row equal to 4, column equal to 3. So, R is not equal to C. First, what you have to do is, you have to multiply total number of rows and columns. That is, we have to multiply 4 into 3. That is, R into C. Then, you have to subtract 1 from 4 and 1 from 3. So, if you subtract, you will get 3 into 2. Next, you have to subtract again 1 from 3 and 1 from 2. So, if you subtract, you will get 2 into 1. You have to do like this till if you get either R or C becomes 1. So, in this image, we have got 1 into into 1. So, let us sub the subtraction. Next, we have to find the value for multiplication. So, if you find the value for multiplication, we will get 4 into 3, 12, 3 into 2, 6, 2 into 1, 2. Next, we have to add these numbers. So, if we add, we will get 20. So, the total number of squares in this image are 20. So, let us try to solve two or no problems. So, we can get clear idea about this. So, next, we are having another image. So, first what we have to do is, we have to count the number of rows in this image. So, if we start counting, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and for column 1, 2, 3 that is we get R equal to 7, C equal to 3, R is not equal to C. So, first what we have to do is, we have to multiply R into C. So, if you multiply, we will get 7 into 3. Next, we have to subtract 1 from 7, 1 from 3. So, we will get 6 into 2. Next, we have to subtract 1 from 6, 1 from 2. So, we will get 5 into 1. So, now we have got 1. So, let us sub the subtraction now. Next, we have to find the value for multiplication. So, if we multiply 7 into 3, we will get 21. Next, if we multiply 6 into 2, we will get 12. If we multiply 5 into 1, we will get 5. Finally, we have to add those numbers. So, we will get 38. So, the total number of squares are 38 in this image. So, now let us solve another problem also. 
first we have to count the number of rows and column so the total number of rows are 2 and for column 1 2 3 so r equal to 2 c equal to 3 that is r is not equal to c first we have to multiply r into c if you multiply we will get 2 into 3 next we have to subtract 1 from 2 1 from 3 so we will get 1 into 2 now we have got 1 in 1 into 2 that is for the r value we got 1 right so let's sub the subtraction next we have to find the value for multiplication so if you multiply 2 into 3 we will get 6 1 into 2 we will get 2 so finally if we add 6 and 2 we will get 8 so the total number of squares are 8 in this image I think now you are very clear about counting your squares problem. Next what we are going to do is let us derive the formula for this type of problems. If we know the formula once it will be in our mind forever. First what we have done is we have multiplied r and c. So we shall write r into c. Next we have subtracted 1 from r, 1 from c. So let us write r minus 1 into c minus 1. Again we have subtracted 1. So the formula would be r minus 2 into c minus 2, r minus 3 into c minus 3. We have to subtract till either r or c becomes 1. So this is the formula. Take a note of it. So it will be in your mind forever. So another important thing I have to mention here. In counting a squares problem, either rows and columns are equal or different. It doesn't matter. The same formula only. I will prove it now. So in this image, we are having rows and columns are equal. That is r equal to c. r equal to c equal to 3, right? So if we apply 3 in this formula, we will get First 3 into 3, 3 square. Next, if we subtract 1 from each, we will get 2 into 2, 2 square. Again, if we subtract 1 from 2, we will get 1 into 1, 1 square. Now, let us stop the subtraction. So, if we add all the number, we will get 14. So, for your easy understanding, I have mentioned if the rows and column are equal, just square the number. That will save your time in your examination. Okay. Next, let us see counting of rectangles problem before seeing the counting of rectangle problem let's see the difference between square and rectangle only if you know the difference between square and rectangle we can solve counting of rectangles problem so if you want to know the difference first we have to know the property of square and rectangle you might have known let us revise it once again so the property of square is all sides are equal but the property of rectangle is opposite sides are equal so, if we come to the square, we are having the opposite sides are equal, right? That is, it is satisfying the property of rectangle. So, we can say every square is a rectangle, okay? But, in case of rectangle, rectangles are having only the opposite sides are equal. It is not satisfying the property of square. So, we shall say, but every rectangle is not a square. Always remember these lines. Every square is a rectangle but every rectangle is not a square. So now we can say square is a square also, rectangle also. But in case of rectangle, we can say a rectangle is only a rectangle not a square. Since it is not satisfying the property of square. Always remember the saying every square is a rectangle but every rectangle is not a square. Okay, I think now you have understood the difference between square and rectangle. So, let's solve the problem for counting of rectangles, okay? So, here is an image. We have to count the number of rectangles for this image. This is the same image what we have seen for square. So, if you want to count the number of rectangles, we have to count squares also. Since squares are also included in rectangles. Okay, if we start counting, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, next 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, the total number of rectangles are 9. This is the normal method. If you want to solve this problem in the tricky way. So, the trick is the same like square. We have to count the number of rows and columns. We have to write the number in the series. So, if you write the number of rows in series, we will get 1, 2. For column also, we will get 1 and 2. Next, we have to add the numbers in the series. So, if we add 1 and 2, we will get 3 for rows and 3 for column. Next, we have to multiply both 3. So, we will get 9. So, the total number of rectangles are 9. We have to write the numbers in the series. Then, we have to add those numbers. Finally, we have to multiply. That's it. So, let's see another one image also. First, we have to write the number of rows in the series. So, we have written. Next, we have to add those numbers. So, if we add 1 and 2, we will get 3. 
next we have to write the number of column in the series so if you write we will get 1 2 1 3 next we have to add those numbers so if we add we will get 6 next we have to multiply 6 and 3 so the final answer will be 18 so the total number of rectangles in this image is 18 so let's see another one problem first what we have to do is we have to write the number of rows and column in the series so we have written rows in the series next we have to write the column in the series next we have to add the rows so if we add we will get 15 so if we add for column also we will get 15 only since the rows and column are same next we have to multiply 15 into 15 so we will get 225 so the total number of rectangles are 225 finally let's see another image also so first we have to write the number of rows in the series so we have written next we have to add those numbers so if we add we will get 28 next we have to write the number of column in the series next you have to add those numbers if we add we will get 10 finally we have to multiply 28 and 10 so the final answer will be 280 I think now you are very clear about counting of rectangles also. Always remember one thing. In an image the number of rectangles will always be greater than number of squares. Since square will also come under the category rectangle. So if you like this video please press the like button and share to your friends also. And finally subscribe my channel too. Thank you.